Hi, this is Tracy H. Dan. I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this will be the weekend reading for Friday, October 14th, Saturday the 15th, and Sunday the 16th. And all week long, we've been using these self-care cards by Cheryl Richardson. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And the top. Trust, and the middle. You saw me shuffle these cards. This is so important to somebody out there, okay? Because it's repeating itself in the bottom card. Magnificence, amazing. Okay, we have 54 cards and we have these reappearing again because I don't believe that everyone out there is taking the messages seriously. There's some of you that are still feeling, you know, that they're just not trusting themselves. They're just not feeling comfortable with whatever decision they need to make right now about a situation in their life. Okay? It's saying march to the beat of your own heart, meaning only you know within yourself, okay, what decisions need to be made, what's going to be right for you. Okay? You have to trust yourself. Okay? And even if you make the wrong decision, it's not the end of the world. We all make wrong decisions. And we can change it. Okay? But trust what you're feeling inside right now. Trust your intuition. And if we've been rejuvenating ourselves and going out in nature and taking some time you know, for self-love, this shouldn't be hard. Because your, your intuition, your, your gut feelings are your internal warning system. Okay, that warns us of danger, warns us of what to do, what not to do. But so many of us don't hear that inner voice because we're too busy to listen. We're too busy rushing around uh, doing other things. And this is saying you can trust your gut feelings about something. And then, of course, nature. Go outside if you can. Okay, whether it be just for five minutes Maybe you could take a longer walk in the evening when you come home from school, come home from work. Spend time in nature. If you live by a park, just go sit in the park and just take in all the surroundings. Okay. Or if you're a stay-at-home mom, maybe you want to go out, outside with the kids. And it doesn't matter if you live in the city, if you live in the country. Just being out in the fresh air will do you good because, you know, buildings, homes, places, they all hold energy. And, and sometimes people don't realize that they're affected by the energy within these buildings. But when you go outside, it's so much more spacious. I know myself, I just feel like a, a breath of fresh air does me wonders. So it's telling you that you need to do that. And of course, realize that you're a magnificent person. We all have something to offer. Some people are, are meant to be parents, that they're excellent moms. Some people are meant to teach children. Some people are, are meant to uh, be artists and, you know, and, and provide all these things of beauty for the whole world to see. Some people were meant to communicate. I truly feel that I was meant to communicate. My mom always said, you always spoke at a, an early age. <laughs> I think it's because she talked to me a lot when I was a child and I kind of picked up on it because that's how you learn how to talk by imitating, you know, what you hear. But I communicated at a very early age, and, and I'm not going to stop anytime soon. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you out there were, were born to be, you know, nurses, caregivers. Um, there's so many different things. But this card's telling you to believe in yourself. The world needs your brilliance and grace. So whatever it is that you're good at, do it. Realize that you are a magnificent person and that you have something to offer. So if someone out there is not being given the appreciation and recognition that they deserve by other people, don't rely on other people's approval of you. You know that you have a good heart. You know that you have something to offer. If I had to rely on the opinion of other people, I probably wouldn't be doing these videos anymore. You know, you're going to have people out there that are going to love what you do. Some people are going to criticize what you do. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because I'm doing this for the people who need this and I enjoy doing this. So realize that you're magnificent as well. And if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.